Please and goodness, dear students. Welcome to our English class for this week. First of all, listen to the following video about the Hail Mary. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Welcome to our English class, dear students. Let's start with our daily phrase that we usually work in our English lessons. Listen, please. Peace and goodness, dear students. I hope all of you and your family feel good with the God's blessings. We always keep in mind all the healthy recommendations, especially for this hard time that is coronavirus pandemic. So let's start with the topic for this week, keeping in mind our healthcare in a family contest, as well as the celebration of the novena of the St. Francis. Here we have the picture of San Francisco de Assis. In this part, we have in Spanish words. This kind of picture is about our found Padre Alfonso Maria Cruz Sardinas, and also he has an important phrase, may I be defended by you, O Virgin. In this part, we have our foundress, Madre Clara y Corazón de María. And this is an important phrase. If we are immaculating Mary daughters, we, were, we must be holy. Let's see the following picture about the topic for of the Monday. Here we have the three different kinds of pictures in order to know more about the model verse, right? So, in this part, we have to, to know something like this, okay? And the day for today is Wednesday, 30 September 2020. As a conference and achievement, we have to work at the test and use conventions. In this part, we have review models of advice and warning structure. This kind is a review because this kind of uh, topic we already learned on Monday. Models of advice and warning structure. Here we have a chart and also rate. Should this most commonly used to make recommendations or give our personal advice? Also, up to is used advice or make recommendations of to express assumptions and expectations as well as the strong probably. Often with the idea that something is diverted. So, had better is most commonly used to make recommendations. It can also be used to express this spirit hope as well as a warm people. Okay, here we have the difference between when you have to use should, ought to, and had better. In order to know more about this kind of uh, topic, let's see the following chart. In this chart, we have five different kind of columns, and we have a modal, use, and affirmative, and a negative and questions. In modal, we have to shoot by a base form, had better, or a possibly like this, Plus base formed. Up to two birds. In should we have to use the advice recommendations, had better word warning, and up to you have to use in advice and recommendations too. In this part of the affirmative form, we have you should explain why you think the music is good. In negative form, you shouldn't buy a CD player, they are out of date. In questions, what kind of MP3 player should I buy? Should I buy it online? So, what is the meaning of warning? In the case of warning, it is a provision, no? Tienes que estar alerta a una situación. In, af in affirmative form, you have and you have to better compare prices online, and you have or you have better not to buy a CD player. Okay. In order to know more about this kind of picture, let's continue with the next some examples. In this case, we have a charge. With should, she should try to finish her projects on time. You should call her tomorrow. They should learn at least five new words every day. Mary had better prepare her homework more carefully. He had better save his money. 
You had better see a doctor. You have to rest a little more. You have to eat more vegetables. And she have to be at home. Okay? Here we have different kinds of examples in order to know more about this kind of topic. When you have to use should, had better, and up to. Okay? In order, in this part to remember, let's work with our English workbook to way. This is our English workbook to way, open my. Okay? And let's start with the first activity. Number three, grammar models of advice and warning. A. Circle the correct option. We have in number one, the tickets will sell out fast. You better buy them now. Two, you ought to buy the new Daft Punk album. It's really amazing. Number three, you should listen to some classical music. It helps you to relax. Four, you you'd better not use my computer to download music. In number one, we have to, to write the correct kind of option. What is the kind of option like this? For example, this one, warning. Number two, advice. Number three, advice. And this kind of sentence in number four, warning two. So let's continue with the next part. In the next part, we have B, match the problems to the solutions. Then you should or to or had better to complete the solutions. One, my CD player is too heavy and to carry around. In number two, the music is too loud. It could damage your ears. Number three, these concert tickets are too expensive. Number four, should I buy this album? Is this band any good? Number five, my sister plays heavy metal all the time at the home. Six, I want to learn more about jazz music. Okay, so in this case, we have to match, first of all, to the problems. Okay, so number one, it can be letter A. Number two, letter D. Number three, letter A. Four, C. Five, F. And six, letter B. In this part, also, we have to complete with should, out, and had better. In that case, we have number one. We have to match with letter E, and it's should. Next, had better. Should, up to, you up to, and should. Okay? Here we have the answer about this kind of exercise part D. Unit 5. 20 uh, page 29 okay let's continue with the next part part c complete a sentence with affirmative or negative form of the modal imperatives we have the models in the parentheses of each kind of sentence like a should should had better should oft and had better too in number one we have to complete and choose what is affirmative or negative form so one, that is, you should buy concert tickets online because they are sometimes cheaper. Number two, you shouldn't play music very loud of your MP3 player. It's bad for your ears. Number three, you'd have better find out if your parents like country music before you buy the CD for them. Fourth, you shouldn't listen to your mp3 player when you are having dinner with your girlfriend five you have to make a video of your band and put it on to youtube number six you had better not play love music at work your colleagues could get upset okay here we have the correct kind of answers so let's continue with the next part in this part we have our metacognition you have to remember that metacognition is personal, right? All the time in our English lessons, we have to make some kind of questions in order to know how you improve this part of the activity, okay? For example, what? What did you learn today? I learned to review the model verbs. How do you learn it? I learned it through PPT player and many kinds of videos. Number three. 
What are you using for? I use it for making some kind of questions in order to know more about recommendations and giving advice. Okay? So, in this part, we have to get some kinds of recommendations. You have to remember, first of all, you have to remember that you have to find out the pages about this kind of activity for today. Recuerden, chicos, que van a encontrar de, eh, hoy en la plataforma las hojas adjuntadas para que puedan trabajar esta página de la actividad del workbook eh, de manera correcta. Asimismo, se les recuerda, chicos, de que por favor traten en lo posible del día viernes está presentes en clase para poder trabajar todos conjuntamente nuestra actividad en repaso como el producto de la semana. Recuerden llevar con ustedes también ejemplos sobre lo que hemos trabajado el día lunes y lo que se recomendó el día lunes. Estemos preparados para la clase muy participativa y el día de hoy observen este video para que puedan trabajarlo y lo revisaremos todos juntos el día viernes la misma actividad de hoy con una retroalimentación. Ok, chicos, no olviden su asistencia, es muy importante que todos ingresen puntual, por favor, dentro de la hora de remota. Uh -huh. Cualquier duda estaré para atenderles dentro de la plataforma de Cubicle o mediante el WhatsApp. Thanks all for today and remember to keep in mind I will help care in a family contest, so let's not be accomplices. Thank you so much and blessing for all of you.